If at first you don't succeed, then dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. Try again. Hello, Limp Rimp Pals. Welcome back to another episode of Lara DJ's Limp Rimp. It's the hair section, hair and internal reactions. And in this video, I'm going to be doing um, just cornrows and I'm going to be feeding my hair with some of these leftover braids that I have from um, doing my hair over the over this past couple of months I have um, this leftover braid right here this leftover hair I mean that I'm going to be feeding my braids with so I hope they come out good these are just leftover um, hair that I'm gonna use and the main i think i have this leftover from a while ago pre-stretched hair um what's it called by expression expression so um let's see this is a nice hairstyle right here Ooh, that's a nice hairstyle that's just what i'm gonna be doing i'm just gonna be doing box um cornrow and i'm gonna i'm going to um it's actually a nice idea and I'm going to um, feed my hair with this just to make it a little bit um, bulky and um, you know stay fresh longer this is actually $5.99 the last you know when I bought this so I think this is about I think I bought this last year so um, I'm gonna get started so I'm gonna first pop my hair and I'll show you um, I'll show you in between what I'm doing so this is actually for crochet hair but I'm gonna use this as uh, my feed-in hair see. like I said these are leftover braids so They've just been sitting for a while. I didn't know what to do with them. So I said, you know what? This is a good idea. Let's make use of it. I'm actually getting ready to record some videos so of course I wanted to I hope it's not gonna take long it's 7 p.m. already I hope it's not gonna take long I think I'll probably just do um, just six I think I'll do six so three on this side and three on this side or maybe four I think four would be good so there's this challenge going on on Instagram about hashtag nobody like woman. And I wanted to talk about this because um, we have a lot of women nowadays who are doing it big in the business industry, who are doing it big in the tech, in the um, technical industry, who are doing it big in um, businesses like bakeries, businesses like, um, you know, artists, music industry, so many industries where women are thriving and really making it, whether they are married or not married, whether they have children or not children, whether they are going back to school to further their education and so much more. And I don't know who started this challenge. Maybe it was the musical artist, Simi Sola. I believe it was her, but I'm not sure. If you do know, please help me out in the comment section. But I wanted to talk about um, Nobody Like woman because this is something i always talk about on my channel about how we need to live a peaceful life and peaceful life always deals with what we see what we hear what we say who we touch um and i saw a lot of comments that was really 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 eye-opening because at some point in time as a woman you can't even say you have not made comments like that the thing about us humans is that we are human first we are sinful beings all that comes from our body is just sin whether you like it or not now with the help of god and with the help of holy spirit little by little our flesh our human side begins to die it begins to die when we increase our faith in god when we increase our relationship in god when we increase our relationship with god 
our flesh begins to die but we always have to understand that we are human first and we are not above sin all the comments that have been seen are comments that literally should be should be kept in a, in the back of our hands in the back of our hands and not come out from our tongues and i always talk about how peaceful living dwells a lot on what we say to ourselves in our mind and what we say to others right so when i saw a lot of these comments i was like people are actually typing these things to other people and they go about their day thinking they have won some sort of war like that and they are they don't understand the the gravity of what they are typing you know and what a lot of the comments that i've been seeing it just makes me to think that these women making these comments have so much issues on their hands but then i thought about it on the other hand a lot of us because of this human nature that we have in us this human flesh that we have i want to say that 50 percent are just doing it just to be noticed but why can't we say good things to each other and be noticed either way but no we want to say the most hateful we want to say the most hurtful things what just to get a like or just to get a comment you know it's it's the world we are living in today feeds on so many negative things and it has seeped into how we talk to each other and how we take care of each other so it's so upsetting that you know that we have come to this is what we have come to peaceful living is broken down into six parts um physical spiritual mental or psychological social academic and financial so some physical comments that i saw definitely was in regards to oh she has put on weight is she the only person to give birth you are too skinny go and eat more you are too fat go and slim down you know those are the physical comments that i saw that were um pretty much over and over again i mean when people make comments like this you just want to see like what are they doing in their houses what are their jobs are they working do they have a job do they have something that's keeping them busy other than commenting on facebook on posts that doesn't make any sense the spiritual aspect was oh are you the only person that will go to church another one was that oh i heard you are a minister if you had prayed about it you wouldn't have lost your relationship if you had prayed about it you wouldn't have lost your relationship and i'm sure there are so many other comments about religion about your spirituality the, what i what i find very crazy is that these people don't know these people you don't know anybody physically you don't know anybody if you see them on the road you most likely would not even say hello you don't know these people intimately and you are making you are making comments that should only be made by 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 partners by brothers and sisters i mean nobody should be making these comments really but if it's coming from a place of love Love, and that should be like close 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 your tight people not just tom dick and harry just talking rubbish on the internet mental physical um, aspect of living a peaceful life some will say she's stupid she's dumb she won't live long as if these people have the power of god in their hands to make and unmake and to do and undo passing judgments left and right it is so and it's not even from um from men to women this is from women to women you are a woman yourself you have sisters you have a mom and you are going to have children going to have kids so it's so unnerving how we can pass on these judgments you you know without flinching an eye socially um people will ask when will she get married she can't keep a man your mates are getting married already she's so unintelligent she's nothing without a man and i feel like this is these are comments that have to do with this type of african mentality where you know we believe that women must women must end up in a man's house we are nothing women are nothing and if you are not in a man's house you are almost like garbage you know um even if you are making it in any industry that you are they still feel like if you are not under a man's wing some i mean there, there's a reason why god made people the way he made them and in whatever way they find themselves or and there's a reason why everything it, it's it's a web it's a web there are things that are supposed to happen for other things to happen so if you are telling me oh just because I mean, and who are we to be passing judgments? You are not a king. You are not a judge. Who are you to be passing judgments? This is not our business. When we see someone that's really, 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 really going on the wrong path, you know, definitely talk to that person with love, not with judgment. Don't be passing judgment. Academic artist, is that even a career? She's a veterinarian doctor, but she wants to do cake. She wants to be baking cake. Is that work? There are so many creative ideas now that are that that people that are doing them are making a lot more money than people that are just sitting down at home waiting for a man to bring money home to them. Creative people that can that can make something out of nothing, and we are pulling them down by the comments we are making online. Financial aspect of living a peaceful life. How can she start a brand at 21? She must have slept with old men in market for funds forget career you are a woman unfortunately i want to say that we are the ones that have put ourselves in this situation because this 
there are there are definitely people that are doing these things yes but when we now start generalizing on people that are making legal and 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 real life business and we are not generalizing that all of them are doing the same thing then that's when there's a problem so i think the main thing is we should stop putting ourselves in positions whereby we are now at a disadvantage and now we see other people making it we want to pull them down before we make any negative comments think about how if someone said that to you how would you feel put yourself in other people's shoes thank you so much for watching this episode i'm so happy you guys watched it till the end of this video um if you are a woman you know i encourage you and i know these are strong women because they are even putting it out there that this is what they have experienced over the years these are strong independent women no whatever you will say is not going to face them because that's how they are built they are not going to be well we want me to go under my bed and be crying because someone said oh you are fat go and be skinny you are skinny go and eat more you want me to go under the, the bed and be crying no it's even going to make me even work harder to pursue my goals and focus and you you are still there commenting on people's business rotting away wherever you are and this is why we pray that we want to be successful but comments like this are things that will not make our prayers be answered this is Lara DJ once again. I'm a lover of peace and I love talking about situations we might find ourselves in that need peaceful endings. And um, this is definitely a situation where I want us to have a happy ending. First, you don't succeed. Pick yourself up and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. If at first you don't succeed, you can dust it off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. Let's love our neighbors as ourselves and remember to rest in peace. We all need to be living in peace. Stay blessed. Bye. You see me in my next one. You see me in my next one. Uh uh uh. See me in my next one. You see me in my next one. Bye.